Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm in Ontario, Canada. Um, had a three hour delay. And here I am in London, Ontario. Drove up here from Ottawa, so going on about two hours sleep. And I'm picking up two motors. As you see, there is a built motor um, and another built motor just to block. But this is going to go with the car I'm gonna show you later. Uh, as you see, TK Motorsports built head. Um, I flew up to Ontario to pick up a 95 Neon NYG with a whole bunch of parts and a big turbo kit. So that is coming to the channel. Very excited for it. Super new. Um, looking at E85 with probably 1600cc injectors. Hoping for like 500 plus horsepower. So I will show you the car when I drive the next five hours home. So I'm going to be making a pit stop to pick up a set of SRT seats for 160 bucks. You got to love Ontario fines. And then we will be going home to put the seats in the neon, cleaning the car out to get it loaded up for Nova Scotia and making the 12 hour trip home. That's right, 12 hours on the way home. And I got the joys of driving this hoopty. So I gotta thank my father for letting me borrow his truck. It did make it up here so far, five hours, no issues. And then another five hours home. So until then, I'll show you guys later. So here you guys go. This is the first time I've actually seen this car. Um, my father picked it up for me. It is a 1995 NYG ACR, so American Club Racer, if you don't know what it is, all original, has just shy of 70,000 miles on it. You see it has the stock fog headlights in it and just some stuff. Now I'm going to put the SRT seats in it since I don't have room to pack them, and I'm going to load this car up with all the parts that you're going to see outside right here and all these bins. Somehow I have to make room because this has to make a 13 hour trip home and this car hasn't been on the road in over two years. It's just been sitting. So wish me luck. Let's see what happens on this road trip. As you see there is an abundance of parts for this and very very little room but hopefully we can make this work. Let me know what you guys think, what should happen with this car. Leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot. So here's the joys of having a car that's been sitting for a while. As you can see, one wasp nest. And there was one right there, those marks that I've already killed. So welcome to being stung as I'm trying to clean out the cars. As you see, there's tons of parts here. We'll go through them afterwards. Um, wheel woods, DC, DSS axles, turbo kit, stuff like that. So far we're about eight hours into the trip and we just rolled over 70,000 miles. I thought I'd share that with you guys. So far no issues, car is running nice and smooth and it's coasting down the highway pretty good. Here we go guys, so we made it back. Pretty sure we put on 980 miles. So good little distance on this car. I think it hasn't been on the road in two years, no issues, surprisingly. And as you can see, the interior is full. There's a motor behind the seat. And if you come over here, you will see a trunk full with another motor as well. I'll get everything out and show you guys what's The biggest here. reason I went and got most of the neon parts, we have an SRT swap here, or SRT motor 2.4 turbo. The biggest reason I bought it was because it has a TK Motorsports port and polished head on it. Um, all redone, bigger valves. It also has crane 18s, cam gears and such. So I'm gonna end up using that on my built motor, which I'll show you here in a second, but this is a full motor. So here is my building, I guess. And what you got here is a built two-wheeler with uh, a super damper, which is gonna come off for the built motor. It has Eagle Pistons, ARP head stuff. That's probably gonna go in my Neon Roadster. Now this is the motor that's going to get the built head. Now, if I flip this motor upside down, I paid $300 for this motor. It's brand new, fully rebuilt with JE Piston, Eagle rods, ARP head studs. They didn't do nothing with the head other than the new head gasket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart because it has no kilometers on it. Make sure that it was put together properly put the built head with the S256 turbo kit on it. Um, probably like 1500cc injectors, probably E85 only and see what can happen. That's my plan. So right now I'm into this for next to nothing. I'm into this for $300. I'm into the NYG for 15 and I'm into the part stash for about three grand. 
So it's going to build probably three cars out of that. So I think it's a pretty well, pretty good score. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, any guesses on numbers? How about we start off with that? Thanks a lot, guys. So you guys have to keep in mind that everything I'm about to show you was in this car. So I did end up buying a 95 NYG. It was originally a Texas car. And it's going to be my new toy to play with. Now I'm going to show you the parts I have. Don't mind the SRT here that's cheap. So it came with the side window covers, which I'll end up selling. It came with an intake manifold with a Boomba rail and Lorenzo 60 mil throttle body and a thousand cc RC injectors. We skip over here, this is more stuff. You have RC 750s, cam tool, you get the point, some parts here. We come over here, now this is the big score. So we'll start here. You got an oil pump that was on the car, new tensioner, MSD coil. You have mirror cover delete, gauges, random stuff, leather, center console, lid. Here you have just random parts. I haven't gone through it all yet. But as you see, there's gauges still everywhere. Mark off gauges, green seat belts for the NYG, I'm assuming. Tons of wonderful V-Bank clamps. So you get the point there. Now here's the hull. So you have a big front mount. Behind it is the SS Stage 3 axles. You have your custom under the motor hot pipe. And you got tons of solid mounts, inserts with an actual solid mount. SRT shifter, looks like a four inch uh, intake. You have an AF AFX, so how automotive computer, modern computers underneath of it, or Mopar performance, I should say. Um, Iceman, you have transmission core, as you see there. You have the bumper grills, which are rare. A set of Willwoods, SRT brakes, new oil pan. The parts are just enormous listed here. You have a fuel return line spindles for the DSS axles you have a full AGP S256 turbo kit which is going to get used then you have here more SRT brakes with the Willwoods you have carbon fiber um, armrests Mopar delete airbag delete you guys all know what that is here you have a carbon fiber background black one stainless steel one dash and a triple but here's some of the parts here that's going to be used now what's going to happen is that is going to be stage three swap i do have a built automatic transmission that came with it manual valve bodies shift kit torque converter so that's probably going to be a stage three with an automatic mild bolt-on so i have like um crane 12s here crower two threes here um the built head is going to go on my other neon which is um hiding pretty well but it's a rust free one it's going to get a built motor this is going to get the stock motor bolt on the other one's going to get the built head and stuff i'll show you that in a second 